everybody again, David is here and welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Today, as you uh, heard already, this is the beginning of the very famous, amazing violin concerto by Tchaikovsky. And today I want to talk a little bit about the very beginning, about the introduction, which is how I find one of the most amazing, amazing introductions ever written. Me personally, I love this concerto, of course, because uh, I was born in Russia and I grew up with this kind of melancholic mentality, I would say, and I really love all this kind of music. doesn't matter if it's from Russia or wherever. And uh, But this specific beginning today, I want to tell you how I feel about it and how I paint. So why do I say paint? My opinion and my advice to, to every one of you practicing out there, um, try always to paint a picture. To paint a picture means you will have a richer idea of what you want to do and what you want to create. And it will be way easier to transport this to your audience. And um, the painting is always a good thing also to get really round through a piece because then you will have kind of this, this feeling of telling a story, painting a picture, so people will probably understand way better what you want to say. And my, and this is what I want to tell you today, my picture for this beginning is, following, uh, is the following one. So I always imagine we are in Russia. And as you might know, the history of Russia is a quite let's say minimum melancholic history. It's a really dark history, a very, very difficult one. And uh, people who lived there, doesn't matter actually what time, they pretty often they had a quite hard time, such as Tchaikovsky. His life was really not the easiest one. And, um, but rich and full of emotions, and really melancholic. And also all the folk songs you might know, and he used a lot of folk songs in his piece and in his compositions. Also, all of them, they are super melancholic, okay? So at this beginning, I see personally, I see this is happening somewhere in the mountains. It's super snow, it's super dark, cold. And there you see a wooden house, a wooden typic house where you see uh, there is a, light through the little windows and you go inside and there is a huge room with a fireplace. The fire is on, it's super romantic, it's like a very specific atmosphere. And uh, you see one huge couch standing there, a red one, quite ripped, shabby, old, telling a story itself already. And you see a bunch of little kids sitting there, age three to six to seven, and they are waiting for something. And suddenly, the wooden big door is opening. And you hear loud, heavy steps. Boom, 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 boom. And this is an old, old man with a long beard, with the scars and, and like, you see the man itself without saying anything is a story already. And this old man might be the grandpa of all his little um, nephews and whomever and their friends is going to the couch and falling in it, sitting down with a good speed, boom, there. It's the beginning for me. And they all start talking a little bit like, grandfather, do you, do you, will you tell us another story of your life? What are you gonna tell us today? Please, please, please tell us something nice. We're waiting for you half an hour already. And the grandfather saying, yes, yes, calm down. I will tell you. I will, I will tell you today another story, but calm down, calm down. And this is, he's sitting down, finding a good position. These are the kids talking. Calm down. Silent. Once upon a time, I was a young boy. I was in love and I had a lot. 
Allah dreams. <laughs> And so on and so on. This is my favorite picture. I love this concerto in general and I find if you start with a picture and you paint paintings and you keep on playing the violin with pictures, it's the best ever because then you will have way more fun and joy to play, to perform and probably the audience will understand way more what you mean and they will also have more fun. This is it for this beginning. If you are into how to create a good sound, whatever, check the other videos. But in general, if you have comments, ideas, tell me your picture maybe, put it in the comments, thumbs up, share this channel, and I would be happy if I can help you. If I could help you, keep on practicing and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>